Hi guys, welcome back. If you new here, then my name is Tarshini. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a one brand glam transformation using mostly wet and wild and some holy grail products here and there. This is not a sponsor video. I bought everything myself because I genuinely love this brand. And this is the brand which I started with in my early makeup learning days few years back. And I'm still in love with their products. So if you want to see this makeup transformation by only using wet and wild products, then let's get started. So I always spray this um, Milani Make It Last uh, setting spray to prime my face before using any makeup and this really makes my makeup last longer. And then I'm going to be using one of my favorite drugstore foundation, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in matte and I'm in a shade golden beige and I'm applying straight with the spatula on my face and I'm going to buff it out with the dew color brush. What I love about this foundation is it feels nothing on the face. It looks very natural on the skin and gives you the awesome coverage and also stay put lasts longer. It retails for six bucks and it definitely buildable to medium coverage to a full coverage. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Photo Focus Concealer in shade Medium Beige. This concealer is lightweight, not cakey on the face, but at the same time, it will not cover everything on the face because it is not thick like my Milani Conceal and Perfect. But it is um, easy to blend and I personally prefer a little bit deeper shade than this. Um, this one I have is uh, one shade lighter than my skin tone. But we will work with this shade for now and I am using the wet, wet sponge to blend this out. Now I am going to be using the Koti Airspun powder to set my under eyes and my T-zone. For my brows, I'm using the Ultimate Brow Redactable Pencil in shade Taupe. First, I'm going to brush the eyebrow hair with spoolie in back. Then, like always, I'm only going to fill in the sparse area. Honestly speaking, this eyebrow pencil is not my favorite for special occasion, but you can use this for everyday basis. The eyeshadow palette I'll be using is the Color Icon eyeshadow palette uh, in shade Lights Off. This is the 10 pen eyeshadow palette. So first I'm starting with this coppery shade uh, and I'm going to blend that in my crease and I'm going to keep adding until I'm happy with the intensity. Now I'm going to be using this matte green and begin dabbing in my outer corner. This is very easy to do eyeshadow look uh, so anybody can pull this look off. I used to use their eyeshadow back in the days and their eyeshadow quality is so good. There is such a softness in the eyeshadow. It always reminds me of high-end expensive eyeshadow palettes. If you are uh, started with the makeup and if you are new to makeup then this eyeshadow palette are great to work with. It is very very pigmented and get the job done very quickly. And then I'm going to be using this Champion Gold Addison shade and I'm applying with my finger. It is really beautiful pearly shade which I'm fan of this kind of a shade.
and then I'm going to take this gold shade and I'm going to pop that on my inner corner and also going to highlight my brow bone. Then I'm going to be using this green shade and smoke out my lower lash line. Then next I'm going to use the black eye pencil and I'm going to use that in my waterline. And then I'm going to use this um, liquid liner. This one is one of my favorite. It is a wet and wild breakup proof liner. I'm going to pull out a small wing and line my lash line. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and finish up this look with some false eyelashes and false eyelashes that I'm using is from KISS. I'm going to link that down below. And here is the finished look. You don't always need a higher products to pull out the elegant look. You can still do it with Rockstar product and here is the proof. I'm going to bring some warmth into my face by using their color icon bronzer in shade What Shady Beaches. For blush, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Bite Side Blush and Highlighter Palette in shade Pomegranate. And highlighter I'm going to use is Precious Petal from Wet n Wild as well. And this highlighter is so stunning for my skin tone, I'm going to be using at high points of my face. I feel like I'm wearing a nude lip lately so I have decided to go with the bold lip today. This is wet n wild matte lipstick in shade cinnamon spice. Um, it is also remind me of fall and I can't believe summer is about to get over. And here is the completed look. I hope you enjoy this drugstore transformation. Let me know in the comment section below and if you want to watch more videos like this uh, like drugstore one brand tutorial or more drugstore affordable brand tutorial let me know in comment section below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and until next time love yourself help others and be grateful. Bye.